thank you again and welcome to my YouTube channel. Thank you for joining me in this advocacy of mine in terms of public awareness on certain health issues with regard to certain beliefs which we know may not be base, based on facts. So this afternoon is one of the more important topics which was asked by me by a very good friend and subscriber to our YouTube channel. And this is regarding eggs, whether eggs can be used as an health, a healthy alternative to either a meal or as a healthy alternative, as a snack, or as a healthy alternative if one is hungry. We know in general that eggs are nutritious. They're nutritious specifically because they're low in calories. So it's one low calorie nutrition where it only gives you 78 calories per egg. What's very important among in eggs is the fact that it's high in protein. One egg will approximately give you six grams. On top of that, eggs are rich in antioxidants. We know antioxidants are nutrients in certain foods that have been shown to combat cardiovascular disease or heart disease, and also to be our defense against certain malignancies or certain cancer cells. What's also very important is that eggs are a very good source of certain nutrients, including vitamins D and vitamin A. Now, there are several benefits of eating eggs. Now, of course, one of the major issues nowadays is not only the epidemic of diabetes, but also the pandemic of obesity. And we know that during these times of COVID, having diabetes and being overweight are two very important risk factors of developing severe COVID infection. So certain benefits of eating eggs is specifically it can help in your weight maintenance. Why? Because eating eggs will give you enough nutrients to fill you up. The protein content of egg has been shown to improve your satiety and satisfaction so that it can actually drop your hunger hormones and curb your appetite to eat more. It has also been shown that a protein-rich breakfast, which includes an egg per day, has been shown in several studies to lead to a reduction in calorie intake the rest of the day. Being satisfied with the egg and being full will drop your craving hormones and thereby curve your urge to eat more. What's important is the protein content in eggs has been shown to help boost your metabolism. In fact, it has been shown to increase the thermic effect of food. When you speak of thermic effect of food, a protein-rich breakfast that includes an egg has been shown to increase your metabolic rate by as much as 15 to 30 percent. But what about the cholesterol? One of the misconceptions a lot about eggs is that we don't like to eat eggs or offer eggs to our kids because it's high in cholesterol. This is what I want to address. Number one. When you speak of cholesterol, it's actually the yellowish fat that is produced by our own body, the liver and the intestine. And in fact, the cholesterol inside our body is not actually made from, or it does not derive from what we eat, but rather from the cholesterol formed by the liver and the intestine. And why is it if it's bad, that our body is producing it. First, because cholesterol is also very important. We need cholesterol to survive. In fact, cholesterol is a component in almost every cell in our body. And worst, we cannot survive without it 
and there will be no propagation of human species because cholesterol is very important in making hormones, including testosterone and estrogen. These are two very important hormones in reproductive, reproductive system. So there's no way for people to reproduce if we don't have testosterone and estrogen. Thereby, it is also very critical that cholesterol is in the body because it is very important for the making of vitamin D, which is important for bone strength. So is the cholesterol in egg bad? First, we know that a typical large egg contains 186 milligrams of cholesterol contained in egg yolk. So most of us eat eggs and then remove the egg yolk and thus eat the egg white because we are so worried about the cholesterol in the egg yolk. However, the truth of the matter is the cholesterol in the egg does not increase your blood cholesterol the same way as when you eat saturated fat and trans fat. What does that mean? First, most of the cholesterol again in our body is not from the food we eat, but from what is being produced in the liver. The liver is actually stimulated to make more cholesterol primarily if you have a high intake of saturated fat and trans fat in our diet. Meaning the liver is not stimulated to produce cholesterol by dietary cholesterol, but rather from the saturated fat and the trans fat that we take in in our diet. In fact, studies have shown that most people can eat up to seven eggs a week without increasing the risk of heart disease. And in fact, eating eggs have been shown to prevent certain types of stroke and even macular degeneration due to aging that can lead to blindness. It is rather the saturated fat that we eat with the eggs, like the butter, the cheese, the bacon, the sausages, and the highly refined bad carbs in white toast, pastries, and home fries that can increase your risk for heart disease, stroke, and other cardiovascular diseases. Thereby, one can safely eat breakfast using one egg as your source of nourishment that can help cut down your calories without getting hungry. So the bottom line is, one can safely eat egg per day and it has not been shown to increase your heart attack risk. However, certain dietary associations and um, health associations have recommended that there should be no more than three eggs per week if you are a diabetic or you're at high risk of heart disease from other causes. What matters most is what you eat with the eggs that may actually be harmful. Specifically, if you eat breakfast with an egg and a bacon, or you eat breakfast with an egg and a sausage. But eating eggs alone for breakfast is one tip I can give you that can help maintain your satiety, fullness, and weight. So remember, cholesterol in one egg per day is safe. People, this is based on studies from huge number of people followed over decades. And that egg, which is rich in protein, can actually be your ally in your weight management issues because this rich in protein meal can help curb your appetite and help you control your weight. So if you like my videos, please feel free to click subscribe and um, notification bell to be notified for new videos. Again, I would like to thank all of you for joining me again today and learn more about new concepts or not really new concepts, but 
debunking some of the myths with regard to nutrition, with regard to diseases, and hope you will continue to be part of my journey in this advocacy of public awareness. With that, thank you very much and uh, see you again soon.